Hey guys, it's Wild. Got some live showdown for you guys, but it's a different, bit different today because I'm doing it with a certain person named Elena. Say hi. Hey there. But uh, we're doing this with a team today that we made uh, on her channel. We're doing a little bit of a series where we make a team that's, you know, we work together to make an actual competitive team and uh, fucking, you know, we are going to do some Wi-Fi battles with it. Yeah, but, I'm going to wreck with it. Yeah, but first... Figured we'd do some showdown to get some testing with it, and that'll go on my side. All the Wi-Fi battles in the team building video will be on her side. So if you want to see the team, uh, go on her channel and watch that video. It's going to be like an hour long, but just but watch it We anyways. get really in-depth, so if you have any trouble team building, then it'll definitely, uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely be useful. Yeah, and also if you guys want us to build any other teams, suggest it on that video. And yeah, blah, blah, blah. But here we got testing with the team. I'll just quick run through it so you guys know what we're working with. Uh... Just all at attacking Mega Metagross, uh, Special Defensive Rotom, Life Orb Latios with Hidden Power Fire, uh, Defensive Landorus, uh, Standard Greninja. I don't have Hydro Pump on this because I was like, it doesn't seem as needed and I wanted U turn. And then uh, Scarf Terrakion because we needed something. So let's just get into it. Yeah, that last slot could be kind of like a toss up if we see. Yeah, it so I mean, we'll see what happens. All right, he's got double genies. Huh, this is a weird team. Um, I mean, if he's just going for Stealth Rock setting up, then, like, Petran or Landris, or if Landris is Scarf, then it'll just U-turn out. Maybe just leave my own Landris and see what happens. Yeah, you have a chance of getting up Stealth Rock, which would be really yeah. useful. And he leaves with his own Landris, so I'd rather just get the rocks up, and then, well... And the only way he'd, like, defog it, well, actually, he's probably got defog on Skarm, so... Yeah, and he just U-turns out, so he most likely is Scarfed, so I'll just have to keep that in mind. He goes into Skarm... Ah, text message. But anyways, uh, got the rocks up. Don't know if he's going to. He's either going to set up his. He's probably he'd probably like defog and then set up his own if he carries defog. Yeah, and I'll just go to Rotom because that's overall safe. He just defogs. That's fine. Oh, he has no items, so that's relevant like i feel like the volt switch will be too threatening for him so i think i should just will-o-wisp in case landers wants to come back in which he goes into latios which is perfectly That's okay not too. bad either yeah like the Is question no damage on that isn't bad the it's question is what he's form. gonna do next like should i just go to metagross to be safe or should well i'm not mega up yet so that's the only problem like maybe i should just pain split i think i should just pain split you can live a draco and then get to yeah Delta. He meg what? What? Right. That was a crit. That was God, a that is actually really good to know that that was really a crit. That's really good. Like what the fuck though, Mega Latios? That well, I guess he had no other Mega, but I wouldn't even Mega the Latios. But like, I feel like I really want to switch to Metagross right now. I really do. It's a lot safer now that he yeah. has to drop. Yeah. Yeah. So I take the Draco Meteor fairly well, and then I can just set up the. I'm gonna turn off just the hope he doesn't quick. have HP fire. Yeah. Um. Probably just go for Zen Headbutt in case Scarm wants to come in. But then again, if Scarm wants to come in, I should probably just switch out. But I also want. Scarm wanna... wants to come in. Ice Punch would have been fine too. Yeah, but Zen Headbutt, like. Eh. Oh wait, Psychic is still resisted. Shit, I forgot. Yeah, that's why I said Ice Punch would have been fine. <laughs> there are his rocks. Yup. Like I feel like if Vladius wants to come in again, that's fine. Yeah, like, I yeah, don't care. I'd rather just get the safe bolt switch off. He'll die from burn, so... I feel like I should go into Landorus? Try and get Stealth Rock up again? Well, plus the fact that I have Leftovers, and he doesn't know any of my other sets, so I might as well, like, you know, let him die from burn, and then I get Leftovers back from that, and then whatever. He goes into Thunderous, I mean... And before HP Ice? <sighs> but there's the off chance he does... Something else predicting Rotom, so I... Or Taunt, I'd... or Thunder Wave. I'm you thinking... don't really know much about the set. Like, so. what do I... I don't think I need Landers for much, and Rocks aren't going to be that important, so I might as well just see what he wants to do. And I get a That's knockoff good. off. That's good. <laughs> yeah, like... And what? Life Orb? All right. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh, he forfeited because we're too good for him. Like, <laughs> the thing is, Greninja would have been able to, you know, hit that, kill it, and then if he brought in anything else, you know, I would have been fairly okay. But, good first game, good first game. I mean... Strong 1-0 and oh so ooh, far with this team. Another uh, interesting team. I think Rotom is going to be the most relevant lead. That or... Actually, Landorus. Because uh, Rocks are going to be good. And... Uh, let's see, well... That or 
Either Landers or Rodan. He's not, he's not gonna leave <clears throat> anything like Latias. Or yeah, so I think Landers should be good. And then Levin Garchomp. So I do get rocks up right away. He can get his and own up, but I don't think I care about them as much. And he shouldn't have anything that hits me very hard. Especially since he's intimidated, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and then he'll... If he somehow, like, SDs, then it's like, sure, whatever. But... If you want SD first turn and then die to a Greninja, be my guest. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'm thinking I should just knock off here, though. Yeah, knock off is good. Yeah, he just Dragon Rush. Okay. Good. Hit by Rough Skin, and then he has Wide, wide Lens. lens. That ruins a good-looking team. Um, shit. I guess I'll just Earthquake. We're like, okay, this team is nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Wide Lens. Well, that's that's different. Wow. That's good damage. Oh, good thing we put attack into this thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. That did a lot. Okay. Yeah, um, that's really good. Like... It's like, no I feel longer... like it's just going to be safe to just hit it with another one. Yeah, if he hit switches... it with another Earthquake. Aqua Jet isn't even going to do that much. Well, it did do a lot, it, but it the thing is that... It did do a lot, but, like, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. And I think like... it was a lot more useful for you to take out the Azumarill anyway. Because yeah. it would have been a problem for Terrakion as well. Yeah, I mean, worst comes to worst. If we need to take on the Terrakion, we have our own Terrakion. So, Latias comes in. If anything is going to happen, he's going to defog. So, I feel like it's just going to be best to... Well, I could knock off, but I feel like U-Turn might be better in case he wants to Mega. But he just Psy Shocks and takes me out, which is perfectly okay. He's Life Orb. That's yeah, because I can go to Metagross right here and just kill him off. If he has HP Fire, I should be able to take it after Megaing. So I might as well just go for Mash in case he wants to switch out. Possibility. And he just Defog. Now he that, goes for Defog. Uh, like, I guess he can leave the threat on the field. Like, I don't care. It, it really... That's really... Like, his team, though, would not be taking that much from Stealth Rock. It was kind of stupid to go for that. Yeah, and then it's like Garchomp comes in. I guess to revenge it with an Ice Punch. It's dead with an Ice Punch. Like, I don't even care about taking the Rough Skin. If he trend has Air Balloon, I mean, that's the only annoying thing, but it but doesn't, so it's dead The problem to is quake. it could be Scarfed, but it's like, we don't even need Metagross for much anymore. We should be able to take on the rest of his team without Metagross, so I might as well just do it. Yeah. And that's dead. The thing is, if it was Scarfed, he would have gone into it before Garchomp. Oh, yeah, of course. So, like, that's that must... the thing with the rest of his team. If any of it was Scarfed, he would have gone into yeah, it. Yeah, so his Trakion isn't Scarfed. Like, what I the mean, fuck? I mean, maybe this thing is Focus Sash. That's why he wanted Defog, and that's, like, the This only guy thing just I said, what, what the fuck, randomly in the chat. And, yay, he outsped me and he killed me. Oh, no. All right. I, I guess, like, everything is life orbed. Um, well, I can just go out to Greninja and just go for the safe Dark Pulse. Like, I don't even care that much about the Trakion. Mm -hmm. Dead. Yep. Oh, crit. Crit totally matters. Oh, yeah, crit matter. Crit, crit <laughs> matter. No, crit didn't matter. I found other folks to take it, and then he just forfeits. <laughs> I almost do and want Hydro Pump on Greninja. What is our ladder so far? Out of uh, curiosity. I'm oh, at not, that's not 1367. Bad. That's like average. Yeah, like, I'm... It's not like I'm bad, it's just like, yeah. But no, we'll get like, another game. 2 and 0, let's keep going. Yeah. Untitled We're... 72. Such yeah, a fantastic I, team name. I didn't decide to title it. Oh, this will be easy. Um, Alright. It's I feel like very, just, very slow. I feel like, like just lead with Metagross? That or Landorus? I think maybe Landorus. Because. Uh, but the thing is, if honestly, I make it up. With... Honestly, like. Either one of them takes care of... Yeah, because I was thinking if I Mega up with Landers, that's going to kill his team a lot sooner, but... Or Mega up with Metagross, but I think Landers just going with that would be safer. Like the only annoying thing would be Weezing, I guess. All right, Primate. Uh, okay. I oh, guess yeah, shit, that's right, it gets defi Defiant. I didn't know it had Defiant. No, I forgot about that. Like, I knew it did, but I forgot. So if it has Ice Punch, I need to go to Rotom. Yeah, and it's most likely Scarf too, but if it isn't, that just makes that easier, because then I can just go into Latios. But I'll just go for Volt Switch. He goes into Reuniclus, which is fairly easy to you take on. Go into. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna go into Metagross because I want to get that. Uh, I want to get set up with a Mega sooner. Like I don't even. These things usually more physically defensive or specially. Well, I haven't it, seen one it in a typically while. invests in defense if it's gonna invest in any stat because it would typically call mind. But it's like you get the boost. Yeah. Dude, he's screwed. Like the thing is, sweep, I'd be able to do sweep. enough. 
<laughs> yeah, but no, it's like, I'd be able to do enough damage output anyways to Arena Quest and he- Oh yeah, that's right, Shadow Ball. I forgot about that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like, the thing is, I would have had a high enough damage output to where I'd take it on anyway, so it's not like it was really relevant, per se. But, at the very least, I know that Primeape is most likely Scarfed. But, right. Weezing comes in- Yeah, Weezing is also- Well, actually- It is that, physically defensive, it's but- It's physically defensive, but I think a plus one Zen headbutt- Should do a lot do if- a lot at Oh! Least. Just dead. Just dead. That's, That's pretty dead. good. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, Nido King dies to an Earthquake, Magnezone dies to an Earthquake, Primate, Primate dies to Zen Headbutt, Artel, uh, Altaria dies to anything. However, I am concerned about this thing being Scarf, but it's like, I shouldn't even... Yeah. It doesn't even matter that much. Like, yeah, I should be able to deal really... with the rest of his team anyways, but I feel like I should save Metagross just in case. Just in case of Altaria? Yeah. Because then um, if it's like, if I bring it in on Altaria... Wait, like... what, well, what did he... What would he go for? Oh, I, well, like, Earthquake. But then I can just go into later to be his Scarf, so... It can, I think, but I might as well just hit him. But he goes for close combat. I live! That, yeah, he's dead. Yep. He's dead. Because I'm like, I'm thinking, all right, it's got close combat, it's got ice punch. I wasn't sure what its other two attacks would be. Right. And then Magnezone comes in, I can just earthquake it to death. Nice. All right. What's next? <clears throat> Needle King? Uh, yep. Dead. Dead. Unless like, I should just earthquake it. Yeah, safe. everything else is dead, dude. Yeah. Altaria is dead. Should I just ice punch or should I actually go for Meteor Mash? I should probably just Meteor Mash, just in case he wants a randomly mega. But I'd still kill it him, so it doesn't matter. matter. That's so yeah. good. Uh, I want to see right, what this guy's ladder ranking was, though. Like, cause I don't know. I, like, I'm just gonna wait and see if it wants to update. That was, that was a nice sweep. Yeah, Mega Metagross, baby. Like, wow, he actually had a decent ladder ranking. All right. We're almost to the 1400, so that's cool. So three now. So far, All right. three now. That's, right. This is going to be weird. That's weird, but his Mega is definitely Pinsir. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with Tracky on lead just because I need to hit that Greninja when it leads. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm concerned with. Like, if Greninja leads, it's so difficult. Well, to... actually, no, I should go with Rotom then because that'll actually be a lot safer. Even if he leads... Oh, shit. All right, Verizion. I um... kind of have to go right out to Latios. Because I don't want to go into Metagross in case he wants to randomly go for close combat. And Latios can take on everything this thing does, so. Mm -hmm. Plus then I can scout him and see what he wants to do. That's a weird lead. Like, that's just really weird. Light screen. All right. That's just fine. Actually, that's not fine. But I still hit him with the Psy Shock, which does a fairly good chunk. That's, that's a good amount. Okay, that's going to get... Shit, that's those... really annoying. Yeah. But at least a two kill. That actually killed? I actually thought after... No, because light screen... The thing is, I hit him on the defensive side, but it's still a special move. Uh, Pinsir, so I have... So how like, function with the uh, screens? It, like I said, it's still a special so it... move, but it hits his defense stat instead. Alright. So it's still a special based move, but I have to just go for HP Fire here because I need to get as much damage off on this Pinsir as possible. And I get a crit! Oh, 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 that... In before leave... Yeah, like, I, that, that's, yeah. that is pretty relevant, though. Yeah. Like, the thing but is, also, I would have... also, though, that's why, I, <sighs> like, I've had so much success with having HP fire on Latios. The thing like, is, I would as long as you can deal with the other Latios, you're fine. Yeah, like, I mean, I would have had enough to deal with, you know, whatever else, but it was just safer. Um, this thing being in, I feel like I should just go to Terrakion, like, in case he wants to go for Dark Pulse. Even if he goes for Ice Beam, I take it, so... Yeah. I might as well just go to Terrak. Plus, if he gives me a justified boost... Yes! 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 Yes, he's dead. He's so dead. Like, if he switches, who Honestly, gives a shit? Honestly, the only thing that would be annoying is Mandibuzz, but even that's neutral. Yeah, and then it's like, I have enough to take on Mandibuzz. He's already sacked enough of his team to where... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Rotom well, comes in. Like, I mean, it'll still take it because of the screen, live. but it's like, I'd rather get the damage output off because I don't need Trakion for much anymore. Mm-hmm. That still did a lot less than I thought it would. But Terrakion's dead. Oh no. Let's see if the screen wears off. Not yet. Well, so... Like play, yeah, no, I figured he would. So I think the most relevant thing to do would be go... Like... Gr I want to go Greninja so I can U-turn into Laners, but I feel like there's a... I would just want to safely go into Rotom. Or I could go Laners, go U-turn into Rotom. 
Or um, I could just safely go into Rotom. Probably just safe Rotom. I don't know why I have to make such a big see, deal about it. Well, did you see what set he has? No, I only... No, yeah, well, actually, he has, he has lefties. I am faster. The only problem is I don't know what he's going for, so just go safely into Latios. He just Volt Switches himself. So, next time I could have done the... Yeah, the move I was talking about, but I wanted to be safer. Uh, Alright, so, um... Lights I'm just gonna go into... Off. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Landers, because I can knock off, and that'll just alleviate this matchup a lot more. Like, I don't care about being knocked off myself. If he wants to switch, that's fine and dandy. It's probably Rocky Helmet. Or it's Leftovers. Right. Oh, shit, that did Probably a lot. did a good amount. Yeah, so I just have to U-turn right here into Rotom, because that's the best thing I have to take on Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is so annoying, though. Yeah. Like, it isn't even that good. It's just annoying, you know? But Volt Switch is the best option. Yeah. Like, I was thinking about Willow Wisping just to get status off, but just in case he switches, I might as just, well, just fucking do it. Uh, it right. goes well, into this. Well, now you can kill it with, like, Greninja if you really wanted to. I, or Latios. I, I actually forgot about Dark Pulse for a second. I also forgot about Gunk Shot existing, which I could have done, but I'm just gonna Draco. So, I was thinking, like, if you wanted to Greninja, would have dealt with uh, this it would have also killed Mandibuzz, and I don't know what Entei usually runs, but... Uh, I mean, it depends on if he's shiny or not. Like, for all the legendary dogs, it's actually actually relevant if they're shiny, because if they're shiny, yeah. that means they can have, like... Entei can have Flare Blitz, Raikou can have Aura Sphere, mm -hmm. but you also gotta keep in mind that if it's running Flare Blitz, it has to be adamant. If it's running, uh... If Raikou is running Aura Sphere, it has to be Rash, so, I mean, they don't run any plus speed natures. But it's, yeah, so this thing can be, uh, running Flare Does Blitz. Does it have any, like, setup attacks? Nope. I think it has, like, Howl, but nothing else. You just go into, if you really want, you could get into Madoff. Yeah, That's might as well. The thing is, I don't know if it's Choice Bandit or not, so, whatever. I'm just gonna U-turn, because he's most likely going into Mana Buzz, and then I can just go, actually, I kind of want to go into Metagross, because if he wants to, whatever, whatever. But it's mainly just because I can foul get the... Play. Yeah. Because I should be able to take a foul play, but I get a nice ice I, punch off. Yeah, ice punch is... Almost kills bad. it, but foul play shouldn't kill me. And then he's forced into extreme speed if he wants to bring in Entei. So, whatever. And, like, Mana Buzz is weak enough. I have plenty of things that outspeed it, so... Yeah. He'll be locked into extreme speed if he wants to go for it. Which, that's whatever, that's fine. And then I can just go... It's, you could take out... Either one of them with Rotom or Greninja, but Greninja yeah. on take extreme speed. The only problem is that Greninja doesn't have the Hydro Pump. Uh, that's true. Yeah. The only thing is you don't want this thing to get um, roost off, so... Yeah, but I can off. just kill it off with a U-turn, because we have that enough attack investment, so... Now I can just go into Rotom, and he's locked in whatever he wants to be locked into. I'm like assuming he's choice speed. banded at least. Yeah, the way he's switching, he has to be. Yeah, like I'm just gonna hydro pump. He just extreme speed though, so I have the game at this point. And I miss hydro pump. Oh no! Sweet. Oh no! You spoke too soon. I mean, unless he crits my fucking. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess crit makes up for it. <laughs> sure, why not? I All highly right. doubt the crit mattered though, but I probably should have stayed to see what my ladder score was. But oh well. Uh, we can get, like, a couple more battles in this video, All I guess. Right. either Mega Scizor or Sceptile, probably Sceptile. Yeah, probably Sceptile, otherwise you wouldn't run it, so I'm thinking so go... just watch out with Rotom. Yeah, I think go Landorus, though. I'm thinking that's... Or, yeah, Landorus, because I can no, set up the rocks right away. That. And he goes with his own. Um, okay, so he's a defensive Landorus, I can tell that much right away. So, I'm just gonna want to lay up rocks, though. But... Also, okay, for all turn. you kids at home, because my Intimidate went first, that means that I was faster, I at least won a speed tie, and I win another speed tie right there, and he just U-turns out instead of knocking off. That's weird. He probably just doesn't have any speed, honestly. It's probably just max defense. Yeah, max. but I mean, it is relevant to keep track of what they're, uh, you know, getting as far as how that goes, but I'm just going to directly mm -hmm. go to Rotom because that's safe. Like, even if he play roughs, I can take it or knock off. That works, too. But I can always just pain split right here because nothing Probably else is taken. Probably assault vest. Usually yeah. the assault vest ones carry Well, I mean, off. there's also just the fact that I can take any hit from any of his Pokemon and anything he wants to bring in, they're going to get weakened by the fact that, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's a weird switch in. I guess he was expecting the Volt Switch because it seemed more obvious, but 
Now he can go into Arcanine, which makes... Oh, okay. I guess he was hoping I was going to burn him. Okay. I don't That's know. That's weird. Yeah, like, I don't understand. Scepta yeah, House... don't burn a thing if you know you can kill it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sceptile comes in. I feel like Rotom should be preserved for right now, so I gotta switch. But I don't know what... I guess going to Landorus? Like, uh, I don't need Landorus for much, and I might as well see what the Sceptile wants to do, and then I can prepare for it afterwards. I mean, I feel like you still need Landorus to, like, intimidate Scizor and Azumarill. But I don't need to worry about intimidating. And, oh, he's physical. Right. That works, too. So... Yeah. No, I mean, it can still be mixed. Because yeah. mixed ones still also run Earthquake. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was more just thinking about the fact that I shouldn't need Landorus as much as I need Rotom. Is more or less why I wanted to do the switch I did. So mm -hmm. this turn, I can go to Metagross and I can just Mega Up. Because I know I'm faster than his laner, so I can easily just Mega Up and... Ice Punch. Yeah, I was trying to think if there's anything else that would be safer in a sense, but Ice Punch definitely is the safest move. Because Azumarill isn't going to appreciate yeah, taking... Yeah, Azumarill's not going to want to take a uh, freaking... Meteor uh, Mash. Like, Meteor Mash either. I don't think it'll kill, but it'll still do a substantial chunk. Like, okay, Laners comes in for the Intimidate, that's fine. You can't clear... Oh, you don't have... Never mind. I was going to say clear body, but that's... Yeah, the, that's only... Right yeah. Only at one instance. Unfortunate. But Sceptile comes in. I should be able to take one hit from this thing and then just kill him with an Ice Punch. If he's mixed, I know you can take Earthquake. Yeah, like, I should be okay right here. Yep, perfectly yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, then he's definitely mixed. That did, like, nothing. Well, even if... The thing Doesn't you gotta matter. remember too is that Metagross has really high defense. Like, yeah, it does, but it would have done a lot more. But yeah, but it, I still would have lived it. So, let's see. I think we have time for like one more battle. Hey, I'm fourteen twenty-five. That was good though. Literally won every single one so far. Yeah, and we they did have a couple up. good ones at the start, so I'm okay with that. Uh, but this shit. All right, really bulky team. Really bulky, and then just Mega Altaria thrown in there. Yep, I'm thinking either. Go with Landers or Metagross? Well, considering he's bulky, you definitely want to set up Stealth Rock. Yeah, I mean, he does have that Espeon, but I can play around it well enough. He leads with that Espeon. All right, you so, turn. Well, no, or actually, I'm going to knock off, because that'll just straight up kill it off right now, so I might as well just get the free kill. And I highly, even if he switches, I get a knockoff off on something, which is nice, but he does reflect. But the light play oh. is gone, so at the very okay. least, my... Uh, Whatever I do afterwards will be okay. Um, I'm just going to go to Grand Ninja because that's my fastest U-Turner. I might as well just get this thing killed before anything else happens. U-Turn, U-Turn. I mean... very chase-like. <laughs> oh, another U-Turn? Is that what we're going for? I, I get back into Lanners and I'd rather have Lanners in on whatever he brings in. So, because if Altaria comes in, I'd Before rather... Yeah. Yep, yep. Like, I see that U-turn, I see it. I kinda have to, like... Because then I also get to scout what he wants to do, and he just dragon dances, so I should be able to go into... Metagross? And just Meteor Mash? Unless it has, like... Actually, these things carry Earthquake. Yeah, but I should still be able to but... take it, though. I should at least be able to take one... It's just that Meteor Mash might not kill because of the Reflect. Yeah, but I'd rather get that damage output off, because then I can... Or he's right. just going to do that. That's fine. That's fine. I guess he just really did... Whoa! That did a lot, even after the Reflect. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely switching right here, though. Like, there's no reason to stay in there. And he just U-turns. Diggersby gets u turn. That's right! <laughs> I still don't want to use it, but that's nice. I mean, they're usually just Choice Bandit or Choice Scarfed. Okay, he goes into Mana Buzz, like... The Reflect is gone. Oh, no, that's the light screen. But I'm just gonna knock off, because that's the safest thing to do on the Mana Buzz. Like, I might as well just remove its most... Oh, it was Rocky Helmet. Okay. And he just toxics me. I mean, you can set up Stealth Rock if you want. Yeah, because then I'll force him into a Defog situation, which I'd rather do. And then I'll get rid of his Reflect. Yeah. If you wanted to. Like, the Reflect is wearing off this oh. turn right here, All so right. I'm just going to U-turn, because then I can see what he wants to do next. I think Greninja is the best thing to go into right now, because I don't want to go into Metagross just yet. Or Usually go... they're only attacking. Actually, I should go into Rotom. Anyway. Well, no, because if he has this thing, Greninja probably is the best thing to go into right now. Yeah, he just defogs, so I can safely go for... It's a for... free switch, so... Yeah. 
I can safely go for the ice beam though. Like, there. Mm, yeah. What does Trevor well, want? The only thing that would resist is um, Magnezone. God damn it! Fucking, eh. Fucking iMessage shit, or FaceTime shit. So Trevor was trying to call me, and it was like, oh, my, my computer takes my calls too. So it's like, what the fuck? Good. Good thing we have track young for this. Yeah, like I'm not concerned about the chancy, but the thing is, I do have to play it to where you know, or I could just gunk shot it. I do a good amount. Yeah, like the thing is, Greninja won't be that relevant against most of his team, so I might as well just see how much it does. It does a pretty good chunk though. Plus, I was more concerned about the Thunder Wave factor, so now he'll outspeed so I can see what he wants to do next, so I can get the free switch to Terrakion. You know, the free Ur switch. I actually don't think and Well, the only thing that I would want to take a close combat is Altaria. Yeah, exactly, so... Like, it's still, like, the better thing to go for, because it'll do a lot. And then the thing is, I have enough switch-ins. God damn it, Trevor, stop calling me! Fucking asshole. Oh, shit. Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list is out. Oh, good. Well, I gotta look at this up while I'm recording. Behold the bullshit. Do I look pleased? Uh, well, let's see what he wants to do here. Holy shit! Holy oh, shit! I was hoping that would be a two-hit KO. What? Oh, fuck. Okay, then. That's all interesting that I will make a video about later. But, uh, that is not a 2KO. What are you talking about? I said I wish it was. Oh. Yeah, but... But, whatever the case, we'll just have to bolt switch right here. Oh, wait, he has Diggersby. Shit, I'm gonna have to Hydro Pump. He toxics my Rotom, which sucks, but I do have to safely go for the... Well, I mean, Mandibuzz isn't that good specially, so I'll do a good amount. Yeah. Or he'll go into Chansey. Chansey! We'll see what happens, though. Like... Honestly, the Hydro Pump is safer just because Volt Switch seems obvious and I need to try and remove any possibility of the, whatchamacallit, and I might as well just, you know, make or the safest play. Or, or stay he in. stayed in, and he roosted. Mm. Like, I shouldn't even be that concerned about Diggersby, so I could just go Volt Switch. And, yeah, I mean, he's just staying in now, it seems like. So what I can do here is go into Metagross, and then I can just fire off Ice Punches, like... Because the thing we know before that I can live a foul play, so I might as well just try yeah. and hit it. And then it's like, yeah, I easily 2KO it. Foul play won't kill me. Did a lot more than before, I think. That or I just wasn't paying much attention. No, it did a, it did a good amount. Like, about as much as it did last time. Alright. Well, Magnezone comes in. If it's not Scarfed... Like scarf. Yeah, I mean, if he's going to come in like that, it has to be Scarfed. But if he's not, he dies. Or not. Okay. I guess he's not Scarfed. Apparently... Yeah, because Metagross is only base 110, so this thing has to be Scarfed, but I'm still just going to Ice Or just going to quick attack you, either or. Or he is yeah. Scarfed, so. So now you can go into Lando or Rotom. Or I can go into Latios. Or Latios. <laughs> Actually, shit, that's a bad play. Because I forgot about the... Altaria? Fuck. Not the Altaria, the Chansey. Chansey. So I kind of actually need to go into Landorus. He's not going to stay in. Kind yeah. Of like, but it double switched into... I double switched into Landorus because I didn't want on the off chance he would predict my double switch, so... <laughs> Whatever. I do have to U-turn right here, though. In case he wants to go into the Altaria. He stays in. in my T-Wave. So watch out. Yeah. Like, we'll see what happens. Thing is, you have five stuff left. You can probably outplay him from here. Yeah, it's just, he has a good enough court, and now that I've lost Metagross, it'll be a bit more annoying, but he does just stay in. I really want to go into Trachium, I don't want to. That T-Wave, though. Like, I don't know. I feel like I should just go into Trachion. Like, what's the likelihood he's going to T-Wave? Uh, the only thing... He'd be able to hit you with, even if he does T-Wave, is, like, Seismic Toss. Yeah, so I feel like Trachyon should be safe enough. I guess. Right. If anything, it might soft-boil. Yeah. 
He just stealth, stealth rocks. rocks. Okay, that's even fine. Because no nothing on his team. Close combat. Yeah, like even Altaria doesn't want to take close combat. Yeah, like, and then even then, it's like I have something to do afterwards. Because, fuck, what is Altaria's speed? That's actually um, relevant. Honestly, I want to say like. 90 but i'm not entirely sure and i don't know about mega <laughs> yeah i was just about to i'm looking it up on my phone really quick and he just stays in and dies that's right, good <laughs> guess he wanted to bring in diggers be safely i don't know why or, or, or altaria I guess. all right altaria reaches base 80 so that means i need to go into latios right here Reason being is because I need to be able to, if he Dragon Dances up, yeah, I need to be able to safely make him kill me so I can get a free switch back over to, uh, oh shit, that's right, he has fucking, oh yeah, I lose now. Oh, uh, you made him get plus two? No, the, the problem was, is I forgot about the fact that he's part fairy, so I couldn't Draco Meteor. Yes. I forgot. So I lose now. Oh no! But there's because oh, no. this is was... where priority would have been nice. Or if we preserve Metagross better. Or that too. So it was more just my misplaying that made us lose, but it's okay. <laughs> but my my reason being was is I wanted to make sure I could get a free, free switch back into Trachyon so I could Iron Head. But now it doesn't matter because he just had speed. I still had speed. Whoa! Praise! Whoa. Praise! Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't either. I thought we lost. I guess it's bulky. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Good game because yeah. we lost to Earthquake. Yep, that's game. Yeah. Alright, well. Damn. Even that last one, we thought we were going to lose. Alright. Well. That was good. We we brought ourselves like 1450 almost. Yeah, so. This isn't bad. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a good place to call it the video. Like, I don't know, is there any real changes you'd want to make right now? Honestly, or? like, right now, I don't really see any. Yeah, I think we're good. Like, like I only... like the way it is right now. Like, the, like only... the only thing is, like, maybe it would have been nice to have priority on Metagross in certain situations, but it wasn't worth, like... Yeah, and then the only other off. thing is, like, the Hydro Pump on Greninja, but we should be okay without it. Yeah. So... It's, like, one of those things you kind of got to play around based on the team, so... Yeah. I think, I think it was good. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, so uh, look forward to the upcoming Wi-Fi battles we have this team. If you didn't go check out the team building video, you better go fucking check it out. But uh, that'll be it for this, so hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Anything else, Alina? Nope. Okay. Uh, rate, comment, sub, and later, guys. Bye.